Do you have a love-hate relationship with Facebook? The algorithm's constantly changing. You don't know how to get engagement. You see all these other people who have like beautifully curated profiles and cover photos and you're just like, ah, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. I wanna take my business online, but like it's so overwhelming and it's constantly changing. So how do you know what works and what doesn't? Today, I'm going to help you sift through the chaos and I'm gonna give you my six strategies that are going to help you turn your Facebook page into a really beautiful, uniquely branded place that's gonna attract your ideal audience to you and it's actually gonna start to help you drive interested leads, interested prospects into your inbox and they're gonna wanna know more about your product or your business opportunity or both. So stay tuned because this is gonna be a really good conversation. Facebook and social media in general are really critical tools that we can use to build our business. They allow us to literally access people from all over the world. These are millions and millions of potential leads for your business, okay? So what I want you to know is when you start an online business, whether you're in direct sales, you're in network marketing, you're doing affiliate marketing, online marketing, whatever it is, you have to start treating your social media profiles like a business. And today we're gonna to talk specifically about Facebook, but these are general rules that you can really apply across the board. Goodall and I help network marketers to climb the ranks in their business and crush online sales, leveraging a personal brand on social media. If you are feeling stuck in your business, you are tired of the belly to belly grind, you don't want to do parties anymore, you just want to take your business online and truly have a business that is actually work from home. If that's the case, you're in the right place because every single week I show up here for you and I share top tips and strategies that have helped my team and I reach the 100,000 plus rank and also to earn six figures from our cell phones. If that sounds good for you, I want you to hit the subscribe button because every single week I'm gonna be back with more tips to help you crush your business. So let me ask you a couple questions. Do you have a profile photo that isn't you? Maybe it's your dog or your whole family or you and a bunch of friends. If so, that's not gonna work. Are you sharing other people's content constantly? So if you look through your feed, are all the last things that you've posted or at least many of them, things that you've shared? So maybe it's like funny videos or cat memes or things that are cute, but they're not helping you build your brand. Do you post pictures with really bad lighting and Maybe you don't even, you can't even tell what's in the picture. Are you guilty of playing online games and sharing them with the world on your profile? And do you have a friends list that is quite large, but you really don't talk to any of them? Today is the day that these bad social media habits end. So no more of that. Instead, I'm gonna tell you how you can change things up and do things really intentionally and strategically to drive customers and potential business partners right into your inbox. Strategy number one, take your profile public. You are building a business. You are in the networking business. We want people to be able to add us as friends and we want people to see our stuff even if they're not friends with us, because how will they know if they wanna connect with you if you have your profile locked up like Fort Knox? So it's time to go public, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that. Okay, so in order to go public, you're gonna look at your cover photo from your desktop, and there's three little dots in the bottom right-hand corner of your cover photo. You're gonna click on those three dots. Then I want you to go to timeline settings. Next, you're gonna click on privacy. Under your activity, who can see your posts, you want to turn that on to public. This means 
the public are going to be able to see the content that you're putting out there. Still in timeline settings, I want you to click on public posts. Set who can follow me and public post settings to public. Now this means you're turning on your follow button. So if somebody asks to be your friend and you don't want to necessarily be friends with them, you can decline them as a friend because you of course want to keep that friends list to real prospects and people that could potentially be a customer or business partner. So you want to reserve friends for that. And if you're not sure why you wouldn't want to just randomly add a whole bunch of friends, I want you to go back to a previous episode. I'll drop the link in the bot uh, right here on the screen, but also down in the description. And it is all about Facebook engagement hacks and how to drive leads into your business and more eyeballs on your content. That's going to explain to you why you definitely don't want to just add a whole bunch of friends unless you plan on engaging with them. Strategy number two, I want you to really pay attention to your profile photo and your cover photo. The purpose of your cover photo is to show people who you are. It should be a representation of you in a positive light. So you want it to be a very professional looking photo or at least just a selfie that looks nice where maybe you have your hair done and your makeup on. You don't wanna look like a slob. You don't wanna be with a whole bunch of people. You don't want people to have to guess who is actually you. You really wanna make sure you have a smile, you're welcoming, you're inviting people in, and don't worry about having your photo taken professionally. Here's a little tip. If you have an iPhone 8 or above, use the portrait mode because what it does is blurs the background and actually looks like a professional picture and you didn't pay anything for it. Let's talk about your cover photo. Your cover photo should be a representation of who you are and what you offer to your audience. So you wanna have a picture of you, maybe a picture of you with your family if that's an important part of your brand or a picture of you maybe doing something that you really love doing, an activity, or a sport or something like that. You also wanna really think about including your mission statement. So for example, my mission statement is, I help women climb the ranks of their business and crush online sales in network marketing using a personal brand. Then I have a hashtag that is, I help women in the nine to five go from hashtag full time to free time. So think about what your mission statement is Think about what your hashtag could be because the ultimate thing that you want to tell people and show people with your profile photo is what you have to offer for someone else and why would they want to follow your content. Strategy number three is use your bio section very intentionally. What do you include in the bio? Well, it is small but mighty. You only get 101 characters, so you really wanna use them carefully. How do you start? What are you gonna put in there? You wanna use a couple of emojis because you wanna attract attention, you wanna let your personality shine, but you wanna repeat a shorter form version of your mission statement here. You can include the hashtag that you came up with, but ultimately you wanna make sure that your audience, again, understands what it is that you offer them. You can also include something like your podcast if you have one or other resources that you want them to know that you have for them, maybe your website, but you can also include a link for your website down below in your bio. So you actually don't have to put it in that small 101 character space. You could instead reserve that for something that really showcases who you are. Maybe it's something quirky about you. You love shopping, right? You're a shopping addict or you love fashion or you're a you know beauty junkie. Something like that that's quirky that creates relatedness with your audience would be great. Strategy number four is really determining what is your brand image? What kind of feeling do you want to leave people with when they visit your page? Do you want your brand to come across as very professional and sharp? Or do you want to come across as fun and flirty? These are all things that you want to think about first and foremost. And then you want to find your brand colors that really line up with that feeling you want to leave people with. So creating a brand image takes a little bit of time, but these steps are going to help you start to move in the right direction. And don't worry about getting it perfect. You can always tweak and change it over time. My brand has changed dramatically from when I first started to today. 
So allow that change to happen. Let it evolve as you go. The more you take action, the more clarity you are going to get. So where are these colors going to come into play? Well, you want to include them in places like your cover photo. The other place is with your photos in general. When you do a post on Facebook or when you put up your feature photos, which is just underneath your bio, that's a really key area and people really look at that feature photo section. You wanna include pictures there that are a representation of who you are and your brand, and you wanna make sure that they look really nice, but also that they look similar in terms of the look and feel. So for example, you really wanna think about finding a filter or a preset that you can add to your photos that create some consistency in that look and feel. One really awesome resource is the app Tezza. T-E-Z-Z-A. I love it because it's a wonderful tool. It's really simple. You can include photos and videos and put a consistent filter and you can even change the lighting, the shadows, the contrast, the green, etc. It's super fun. So give that one a try. And a pro tip for you is if you want to get a little more advanced in your photo editing, you can download the Lightroom CC app. It is from Adobe and many professional photographers use Lightroom to edit their photos. And the app is a really great tool to edit in a professional way. It gives you a ton of more features and you can buy presets for Lightroom and upload them. So you can buy someone else's presets. You can tweak them, make them your own, or just use them straight up. But those will be a little bit of a step up from just using a free app. Strategy number five is connecting with your audience. Did you know that only about 6% of your actual friends list is even seeing the content that you put out there? You're working so hard to create this awesome content on a regular basis and barely anyone is seeing it. So there are ways and little tricks that we can do that are gonna get our post out in front of more eyeballs so you get more engagement, more interaction, and therefore more sales and signups in your business. If you wanna get into the nitty gritties of this and really get some of my key hacks, again, go back to my first YouTube video where I talk about Facebook engagement hacks to drive more leads and eyeballs on your content. All of it is in there and it's epic strategies that are gonna help you immediately change the engagement on your content. Okay, so the first thing you wanna really think about when you're connecting with your audience is who is it that you're trying to attract in the first place? You know, you wanna really think about who is your ideal audience? Who's your ideal customer? And who is your ideal business partner? They're probably gonna be one in the same. It's okay if they're a little different, but ideally you wanna pick one person. You wanna really think about who are they? How old are they? What's their income level? What is like their general demographic? Where do they live? What are their hobbies? What's their career? What do they love to do? TV shows, podcasts. I want you to get really, really specific here. And the more you nail this down, the more you can really be specific about who you're talking to in your content. And that is going to create incredible relatedness with that person. And that's going to attract your tribe and really create super fans. And listen, if you're thinking, yeah, but Jen, if I niche down to one specific person, aren't I alienating everybody else? The answer is no. You wanna attract your tribe. You don't want everybody because everybody, it's too broad. You know, have you ever heard the expression, if you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one? That is so very true. So you wanna get very specific so that you really touch the heart of the person that you're engaging with. Now that you know who your ideal customer is or your ideal audience, you wanna be sharing authentically, telling stories and getting vulnerable. The first line of the content that you create should be something that creates curiosity and intrigue and makes them wanna read more. Then you wanna really get specific, share a specific moment in time, tell the story, talk about the challenges that you went through, the fears you felt, the overwhelm, whatever it is, and then tell them what you found and how you found the solution and what it has done for you. And then invite them through a call to action to reach out to you to get more information. A pro tip for you when you're connecting, I want you to create curiosity. 
Please don't go and spam out your brand or your company on your profile. All you're doing is sending people to Google and that's not going to help you grow your business. What you want to do instead is you want to create curiosity. You want to share the benefits and the value that your products offer you and can offer for them. Same for the business. And they're going to be curious. They're going to want to know the answer and they're going to have to come to you to get it. I also want you to be proactive in reaching out to people. A lot of times we put content out there and we just post and pray and hope that people are gonna see it and they're gonna engage with us and they're gonna drop into our inbox. This will start to happen as you continue to show up consistently, but in the meanwhile, you really need to be proactively reaching out to people who are on your friends list so that you're showing Facebook that you are friends and that's gonna trigger the algorithm and the more people that are seeing your posts and engaging with you, it's gonna push it out into even more eyeballs and even people who are not on your friends list and that's how you're gonna create way more engagement. Strategy number six, this one is really important and it is be consistent. It's so important that we show up consistently for our audience. When we do that, we are training them that we're going to be there with new content and they can always count on us. It also shows them that you are very serious about what you're doing and this is a serious business, not just a hobby. So show up consistently and that can just be one really good quality post per day and show up in your stories to give them a sneak peek behind the scenes of your business and your lifestyle. So congratulations, you did it. Now I want you to really go and implement those and know that these will make a difference for you if you take action. Knowing and doing nothing is not gonna change anything. So put these things into place. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear how you did. So drop in the comments below. Let me know what your results have been. And don't forget to download my free Facebook guide that summarizes these six strategies for you in a PDF so you don't have to remember. You'll always have that on hand. So you can get that I'll drop the link down below of the screen but also down in the description and you can just go to jengoodall.com forward slash freebie to download that for free today. Just remember these results won't show up overnight necessarily but over time if you're consistent you are absolutely going to have customers and potential business partners showing up in your inbox and you will be exploding and crushing your business. So I cannot wait for you to have amazing results and see you next time.